Hi Aiden, I am finally sending you this video on how to do our three-dimensional optical art. So, I got a piece of paper here. Um, you can use a crayon. I'm gonna use a marker just so you can see it better as we're doing it. Um, and you'll wanna find some, some kind of circle to trace. Could be a container, a lid of any kind. But um, anywhere on your paper, near the middle maybe, you're gonna trace your circle. And um, the main thing is we wanna show that a sphere is rounded, not flat. So we don't wanna do lines straight up and down and across. We actually wanna curve them when we draw them. The only one that is going to be um, straight is the one in the middle. So we are going to make a line down the middle of our sphere, and then we wanna curve them. The outer edge of our um, sphere, our circle, okay, has a curve. So we're gonna make one curve, two curves, okay? So it's kind of the same kind of curve that's on the outside that we're putting on the inside. And then you're gonna do the opposite side. So curve and then another curve, okay? Kind of looks like if you took an orange and you sliced it, like it's, it's gonna have curves to it. It's not just gonna be straight, okay? Then you're gonna flip your paper, kind of looks like a basketball like this. Um, and you're gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna go straight down the middle. Then you're gonna curve on the left side, curve on the left side. And then on the right side, curve on the right side, curve on the right side. And then you have your gridded sphere. Now, um, the way it's gonna look three-dimensional is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna color it like a checkerboard. So, I'm just gonna start right here on this edge in the middle. So I'm gonna do purple, then another color, purple, another color. I don't know what second color I'm gonna use because I just decided to take my purple. So then you're gonna do the opposite afterwards, okay, to make that checkerboard pattern. I suggest using like a larger marker to fill in or it'll take forever with a little one, unless you have little spots. I'm gonna try and do this fast so you can see it. Okay, so you're doing the opposite every row that you do. Okay. You might have some smaller areas. Okay, so you get that. Once you're done coloring your checkerboard on your sphere, you can choose what you wanna to do to the background. You can show movement in the background or you can leave it a straight checkerboard. Oh no, oh, okay, Never mind. I thought I missed one um, the wrong way, but I just missed coloring it in. Okay, so I've got my um, sphere here and now I'm gonna do the background. So you can make it show like there's curvy movement behind it, or you can make it just a straight um, checkerboard like you would on um, the game. I'm gonna make some movement. So I decided I'm just gonna kind of make a curvy line through it. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep repeating that same curve all the way and acting like it's going behind and then coming over, following the same curve. Okay, so I want my background to have movement. So then I just need to go across it and make some other blocks that I need to do my checkerboard in. So I'm just going across do diagonal. Okay. So then you have a couple choices. Do you want to, um, do you want to change the colors in your background or do you want to use the same colors? So that's up to you. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep with the purple on mine. And then I'm gonna start doing a checkerboard for these curvy areas. So it's the same kind of pattern throughout the entire thing. I've got to skip one and it's okay if it ends up being the same color next to the sphere. That's okay, it's gonna happen. Okay, I'm doing this super quick. Please take your time though. I'm just trying to show you kind of what it's gonna look like. Oops. Okay, but you're gonna do the checkerboard the whole background. Okay, so then it's gonna show all this movement going through here. I'm gonna do a couple more here so you can see it a little bit better. Again, I'm just going a little faster than I probably should just to show you. Okay. Like I said, you can change colors if you want to. I'm not exactly sure what color I'm gonna make this sphere or the other color in the background, but you'll have the whole thing done. If you want to, um, you can do a simple straight line checkerboard. I would use a ruler. You could also just do straight lines. Okay, through the whole thing. Again, I would use a ruler, but I'm just trying to show you quickly. So you can do straight lines for your checkerboard as well. These are definitely not perfectly straight, but you get the idea. Um, you could also do something like this, okay? Um, email me if you have any questions and I'll actually call you um, to touch base too. All right, bye.